uh, the VMAs were this week. Who's hot and who's not? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Billy Billy Eilish was at the VMAs. Yeah, she was. That's cool. Well, it's funny because it was like Billy Eilish, Taylor Swift, and then the host was Sebastian Mal- Maniscalco, which I guess I don't think I've ever heard of a worse pairing of host and like awards show. <laughs> like, hey, who are these teens who love hip hop gonna like? A forty-six-year-old <laughs> Italian man who isn't on TV. It's like Green Book. <laughs> the whole campaign was like. <laughs> introducing you to Sebastian man cuz like Sebastian's very popular and I think very funny but the thing is he's popular amongst like amongst like Italians in like Long Island in New I York right I don't know who it, he is <laughs> uh let's play a little of his stand or let's play his uh VMA um I saw his ad and I yeah, liked his ad um VMA monologue here see cuz Sebastian's like he kind of talks like this, yeah, you know. He's he like, kinda, uh, he's like a, he, he, I was just at Chipotle, you know. He's like a very like over over pronounce. His whole his whole gag is like um, over pronouncing words, and like he's just very he's in he's in Green Book. He's just very Italian. Oh, he is in Green. Okay, yeah, I'm a, well, he literally I, is in Green then Book. Then that wasn't funny on my part, and I apologize. <laughs> and I apologize if this <laughs> message gets you down. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I mean, like it just seems like such an because like his crowd. He apparently went up there and he's like, "You millennials are so sensitive, or whatever." And it's like that. This isn't gonna fly. At the, at the, I mean, I agree. This is such a bad crowd, you know. <laughs> well, th- okay, never mind. Does the host even like so come in and? The window and hopefully this all clears <laughs> out. <laughs> you crack the yeah, you crack the window. What's with Welcome these fucking black guys? Huh? I'm <laughs> too many black guys. <laughs> And Billy's like, I agree. It's a minute and 15 seconds in, and it's just all like, look, look, this is just black women <laughs> it's frowning. The way it always was intended in a hockey rink in the middle of Newark. <laughs> yeah, they're going wild for Newark, New Jersey <laughs> references. Well, Cardi B knows Newark, and Listen, she's a New yeah. York lady. You have your phones out. You like to document everything as it's happening. As you know, it's happening. So you fucking millennials. <laughs> they got 26 cameras all over the room, and I guarantee you, your phone's not, not going to get this shot. <laughs> He's looking up at a camera on the ceiling. It's a good shot. Yeah, that's pretty fun. So unless you have oh, this is way too big of a thing. <laughs> this is so <laughs> awkward, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Record the action. Also, you want the VMAs so and intimate crowd for a week in New Jersey in yeah. from Los Angeles, where uh, everybody's riding around in a bird scooter. <laughs> yeah. They are taking photos of uh, of themselves in front of a wall, and everybody with an iPhone apparently is an influencer. Now listen, <laughs> New Jersey doesn't have time for that. All right. I like the premise. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, I, but all right, all right. Jersey has had one influencer for the past forty years, and that's Bruce Springsteen. Yeah. Oh, God. Now we're talking. This is painful, man. I mean, look. Here's the thing. Uh, there's still like we can watch the rest, but uh, here's the thing. It's just an awkward fucking mashup. It is. These kids don't want to hear Bruce Springsteen references. Well, <laughs> or they do. They just don't know to laugh, you know? They don't. They don't. Teens hate to laugh. I get that. He's like, I I think Sebastian is funny. He has made me laugh. I've seen him live, and he's been pretty funny. I thought that was funny. I don't know. L.A. versus Jersey. That's a fine premise. All right. He, but here's a couple things. First of all, does the host of VMAs even come out again after this opening monologue? Uh, Why he, is this even here? Doesn't he introduce people and shit? Or... No, it's like a bunch of different presenters. He's not like, Billy Eilish, come to the stage. Hey, so we got this fucking little girl hey, over you here. You know who is a bad guy to me? It's a Tony <laughs> Supreme. Yeah, uh, Jersey's had a bunch of bad guys, <laughs> all it's right? It's the mafia. You got the mob. You got Chris Christie. Uh, oh, I wish you'd have. He is a bad guy. He is. I, He's such an openly bad He's guy. He's a pretty bad guy, and he, yeah. I'm the bad guy, duh. Because <laughs> yeah, I was in the Trump. It, was he in the Trump administration? He tried. He that, tried. This is how pathetic Chris Christie is. He tried to get out of the Trump administration. That's cool. Can't hurt a man for trying. That's what they say. All right, let's let's keep watching this. <laughs> you got it. All right, listen, listen. Obviously, we have a lot of people from the music industry. Here. <laughs> Wait, that was the joke? Was the Bruce Springsteen thing? They didn't know to laugh. They just like applauded. They're they're so cheery. And this is the problem with millennials. They just clap and don't laugh. It's so true. Like it's, but it's also an award show. It's like. 
Well, the Oscars, at least, they're very touchy. It's a horrible scenario. These guys, I think, are too dumb to know that yeah. they're, that he's making jokes. Yeah. Give it up for the bus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, who here had a cheesesteak today? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> little Italy in New York sucks, but the uh, one in the Bronx right, is good. Right. Just a bunch of mollied out teenagers <laughs> and publicists in the crowd. <laughs> All right, let's keep A bunch keep... of publicists. Wink. Okay. Here tonight... No, there's a lot of few. Can I also, Sebastian, this helps. He's wearing a weird sparkly suit. <laughs> it looks going cool. going on with the music business? People throwing shade. <laughs> Just He's 46. <laughs> <laughs> that was like the that throwing shade was the most recent slang term he, yeah. he learned, which was like <laughs> eight years ago. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay, never mind. Found out what shade was this week. Oh, okay, uh, okay there we go. See, he's funny. He's, they just don't. I, but the thing is, they don't want to see a comedian. It's a horrible crowd. It's such, I mean, it, this is not Sebastian's fault. It is the worst pairing I think I've ever seen of a comedian and the awards show. You're not going to like this opinion, but I think he's doing fine. I think He's doing good how, for the yeah. circumstance, but we've, this is, we, we're three minutes in now. Have you heard a big laugh? I heard give it up for the book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, no, so I have all the shade flying back and forth, <laughs> coming up with the seating chart <laughs> no, for funny, tonight man. was harder than arranging the tables for my Uncle Luigi's <laughs> <laughs> That's a I good joke. <laughs> now. They're applauding his Uncle Luigi. He got. They didn't even know to laugh. They just were like, yeah, he's your Uncle up, Luigi. He's keeping up the energy. Announcements before we get started. This is happening for the first time. MTV, what they're doing is is they, they notice that we're living in ultra sensitive time. Time. Right? So if you feel it just triggered, becomes the Chappelle special. <laughs> yeah. Or you feel offended by anything I'm saying up here <laughs> or anything the musical artists are doing. What I don't even know why he did this, because it's like who's, who's the artist who is, gonna who is getting offended by his Uncle Luigi references? <laughs> and also, these jo there's no way anyone's going to say anything offended because Viacom is such a strict thing. And they also know MTV's crowd is, is already very sensitive. I'm actually surprised they let him even say this. Who's the artists who are up for – who are the controversial artists who are up for, like, nominations and stuff? Well, Billie Eilish might OD <laughs> on stage. Actually, that'd be fine. No, that is a problem with your generation. Yeah. Yeah, let's get into let's it. Let's get into I'm, it. This, Sebastian is energized. He's emboldened <laughs> me like Trump. He's emboldened, <laughs> He's emboldened me. millennial yeah. uh, anti -Gen Yeah, Z. you're fucking proud. <laughs> you know what's wrong with your fucking generation? <laughs> yeah, go for it, man. You <laughs> piece of shit. Uh, is like, this is just a normal conversation. Oh, yeah, go, go for a, it. A lot of teens like uh, get mad. Uh, like it's, it's like a weird balance of like really into like they, – they're very sensitive when it comes to like hearing words and shit like that. But then they'll watch Euphoria. Is like, hell yeah, I really relate to this show where all the kids are fucking their teachers and, and getting fucked no, in the ass that's by, Riverdale. by <laughs> River, Euphoria. And ODing as we get fucked in the ass, and I'm 15 yeah. years old. There is penis in Euphoria. There is cock in Euphoria. And I'm sure it's plastic. And the show is good, too. The show's good. <laughs> <laughs> You're just talking about your weekend. <laughs> you know, I've only seen two. It's a very good show. Robbie, it's a very, <laughs> very good show, uh, and Zendaya's a crazy cat. Yeah. What do you think? Do you think Drake was on? Set? I'll bet he was on set every yeah, day. Yeah. Just like, just like rubbing. I'm his just here to make sure the show goes wrong. Drake, why are you only here during the sh <laughs> during the scenes where the 14 year old Zendaya, gets fucked? Come give me a kiss, girl. Go, Zendaya, come, that was so good. Let's let's do a little kiss on the lips. Let's go. Come on, Zendaya. Hey, Millie Bobby Brown. But Millie, Bo <laughs> Millie Bobby Brown. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna take this shit to Millie. Yeah, Millie, a Millie, a Millie, a remix of a Millie, Millie but Bobby instead, how Drake wants to fuck uh, Millie Bobby Brown. Uh, 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 All right, there's worried. only a minute left of this. I'm actually excited to see because they really pulled back once he said triggered. He, yeah. All right, yeah. Wait, let, let's go back a little a bit. Millie, or you feel offended by anything <laughs> I'm saying up here, or any? There. As much as I'm on Sebastian's side, are, there is are. an incredible visual about a 46-year-old Italian man in yelling a glittery at suit <laughs> yelling, at, yelling at MTV's crowd in an arena. If uh, you get triggered <laughs> or offended. <laughs> can I can I make a young person reference? Yeah, here you go. He's going to be on the new uh, fucking Little Nas remix. Sebastian? Yeah. I'm going to take my Italian <laughs> uncle to the old to the old book of the Beppo. <laughs> and I'm going to ride his dick. No, that's stupid. Okay, continue. Anything the musical artists are doing, 
They're providing a safe space <laughs> backstage <laughs> while you get some stress balls and a blankie. <laughs> And also, a little nice. <laughs> They're booing him. <laughs> They've started to boo him. It's a, it's a, it's a real white woman looking, it, it, looking, looking. Not ha who, she is, Who's applauding him? Because there's some people who are applauding. She is either cringing or doing Chinese eyes, and uh, either way, um, it's not good. Yeah. Horse, <laughs> oh. Which will. Yeah, yeah. Horses backstage. These are people trained not to ever. The, the only reaction they know to make is to woo when they hear a reference to something they like. They're all on Molly. You yeah. got it. They're all. Um, they're all. Yeah. This is. Oh, this is actually. I hope that. Was Andy Kaufman in charge of this booking? <laughs> He's the deal. He's just, hey, fuck you. I just want as an experiment to get a bunch of molly out teenagers and their and their coked up publicists. Hey, why don't I hit you in my fucking belt because your dad never did? <laughs> yeah, and make them listen to Sebastian. Yeah, yeah, it's all performance. This is amazing. Yeah. Which will double as an Oh my god, Billy Ray Cyrus. He's not animal. at this world. So. so if you'd like to talk to your ushers. They will send you back to, uh, to where that's happening. Personally, uh, I would remove you from the arena, put you in your car, and send you home. But woo, send us home! <laughs> they, don't <wanna> be <laughs> they don't know what to fucking do but applaud. I think Lil, Lil Nas X man was probably a good sport about this. Oh, I bet he was. Lil Nas X actually has a sense of humor, a, yeah, unlike like guy. everyone in that, yeah. in that <laughs> yeah, audience. Yeah, which is why he's cool. Everyone in that audience just tweets about uh, the. Uh, they just tweet, "We stand a legend," and yeah. quote tweet something. Uh, I, I know they. And then like the trailer for Cats or something. <laughs> yeah. That's everyone yeah, in this crowd. Yeah. Safe space. Safe space. And while we're talking about feel, I want a spade space where it's just me it's and David, David Spade. Spade. Yeah. That's cool. Thank you. Feelings not getting hurt. <laughs> I, I just want to let you know that MTV is doing this old school tonight. They're giving out one trophy per category, all right? Not everybody's walking away. Queen Latifah <laughs> just went, oof. <laughs> the person oh, with man. A participation <laughs> ribbon. This is not Little League. What is, okay, what? He's being a heel. Why is he know? closing? Why is he closing <laughs> with this, he's though? He's just like, he's burning. Yeah, he's trying to be whatever. This rules to do this in a five-minute set. I mean, this is honestly the best thing he could have done. Yeah, what's he gonna... So if you don't win tonight, I do have a little advice for you. Go Next fuck yourself. Year, work hard. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, pretty good. Oh my God! They're a Who is that? Some rapper is not laughing, but very sincerely, like, "Yeah, dude, you gotta hustle. You gotta yeah, hustle." I, no, I know that's. Uh... <laughs> Are we ready to get this thing started? Oh my god, dude. Uh, Once again, oh. not his fault. It's not his fault. All right.